back, I'm going to be doing a full um, grocery rehaul stock with you. Uh, we just got back from vacation and had nothing and ate like crap. Not ate like crap, but ate a lot of more food than we normally would and a lot less veggies. So needed a full like kind of, you know, refresh. So I got everything. Um, I think I spent, not I think, I spent... $251.57 at Aldi and got all of this. I thought that's what I was going to spend. It was $250. That's what my guess was. So let's get into it. A couple of staples and a couple of new random things. I went to the store hungry. So starting with, got some cauliflower just quick to roast up or make a puree with for dinner. I'm placing some of this stuff over there. Um, some baby Bella mushrooms. For, I'm thinking a stir fry. I got some salmon, which I'll show you. So I'm thinking doing a stir fry one night. Um, this arugula spinach mix is great as like bulking up um, like a side for a dinner that's quick and easy. So grab that or salads. Two Honeycrisp apples. Um, some little cuties I wanted to make. I made an orange chicken before we left and Scott loved it and I figured I would make it again this week. So I grabbed some oranges for that and Arlo likes to snack on these as well. The little cuties. Um, I grabbed some sweet butter lettuce. I thought this would be good as like a salad that I could make myself. I really like butter lettuce. It's, it's yum. And the same thing for the spring mix. I figured I could just make my own salads and kind of prep out some chicken ahead of time. So I bought a lot of chicken thighs, so I figured I would kind of prep those out so I could throw them into salads for the week. I grabbed some yellow onions because I'm pretty sure we're out and some more garlic because we need that. Uh, for that recipe, the orange chicken, it calls for ginger and I also like just having ginger on hand to like grade for stir fries and whatnot. So big pack of ginger and cilantro as well for the same, um, like different, um, not stir fries. I guess you could put cilantro in a stir fry, but nonetheless, um, avocados. I grabbed some sugar snap peas as well for snacking, but also for like a stir fry. I grabbed these two spice blends. Um, I don't know, I figured I would try them. So these are the Stone Mill Table Blend. And then I also got the original. These are both salt-free seasonings, which I thought would be nice. Um, this one's a little lemony. Both a little lemony. Basil, bay leaf. Okay, why do they seem the exact same? Okay, this says cumin mustard. So does this, okay. I don't really know the difference. <laughs> Probably should have read that. Um, I also grabbed this, which I thought would be good for those salads that I was kind of talking to you about. This is the ginger vinaigrette. It's like an Asian style dressing with tamari and ginger flavors. The ingredients are pretty good. Um, so I figured I would try that guy out. I haven't tried any of their fresh dressings before. Some broccoli to have for dinner as a side, but also to have with some orange chicken. They haven't been having big, like, carrots, which I prefer to buy, so I grabbed the baby organic ones because they didn't have any of the other ones. Blueberries, um, yeah, for, for us, for snacking. Some cucumbers. I'm gonna chop up a bunch of veggies and keep them in a container in the fridge for the week just so I have them, so that is one of the veggies I'm gonna do that with. I really don't love all the lunch meat selection, but I didn't feel like running to Trader Joe's today, so I decided to try another brand, and I really committed and went with two. I don't know why I did that, but these are the smoked turkey breast organic by the Simple, Simple Simply Nature brand. So I have not tried this one before, so hopefully I have good luck with that. I grabbed just some ginger shots and then a turmeric shot. Um, so two of those for Scott and I. Some little baby tomatoes. Um, I normally like to make my own hummus, but I was just not feeling it today. And so I had seen that this was here and I read the ingredients and it's really clean. Basically what I would use. The only thing it doesn't or it has that I wouldn't put in it is citric acid, which I guess is like a lemon or a lime. And then organic gargum, gargum, I don't know. That's the only thing I wouldn't add, but besides that, everything else is really good. It's organic hummus, and um, I got the garlic and the red pepper for veggies. I've been loving low-fat cottage cheese with everything, or Trader Joe's onion salt on it. One of my favorite, just quick and easy snacks. The bitchin' sauce, I've never tried the chipotle version, or maybe I have, I don't remember, but these are great in salads, um, or in like Buddha bowls or anything like that. This is just a really good, it's an almond-based 
sauce. Um, for cheeses, I like to just have some soft cheeses for salads. So I got the goat cheese and the feta. My like, go-to favorite lunch obsession recently has been tuna mixed with Greek yogurt. So I grabbed some non-fat Greek yogurt. And then I just season with salt and pepper and then I take a chip of my choice. So I grabbed salt and vinegar today um, and then I eat it like that. So those are like my cracker. So good, just really high protein, really easy. And I can like do other things when I'm munching on it. These are the yogurts that I get for Arlo. These are the vanilla coconut, toasted vanilla coconut, whole milk yogurts. Um, some spaghetti, whole wheat. We typically do a spaghetti night every day. It's just quick and easy. I'll either do like a ground meat sauce or meatballs. So for that, I like the um, Simply Nature but tomato basil pasta sauce. This has really good ingredients. Um, no like major oils or anything like that. So really healthy, really clean. So I get two of those. These caught my eye. I thought these would be nice to just have for like in my office or like grabbing and going upstairs to work. These are just organic grass-fed beef um, jerky. So I grabbed two of these. Um, not the best price, but not terrible for what it is. I had been wanting to grab these. I used to grab these all the time. They're kind of like lavish bread, but these are the flatbread multigrain with flax. They're like little, um, like things to make little roll up wrap things. Uh, I like these. I used to make these all the time with like, what did I do? Did like a tofu egg salad, but I could just do a regular egg salad um, with this or just some lunch meats or whatever. If I don't feel like eating a salad, I could just put everything that I would eat in a salad into here and I'm good to go. Um, I wanted to try bone broth. Um, I don't really know why. I think it's supposed to be good for your gut. It has high protein. Um, so this is made with turmeric as well. It's chicken bone broth. It's really good clean ingredients. Um, for one cup, it's 50 calories with 10 grams of protein. So just another easy way to get some extra protein in and just like sip on something warm. Uh, I grabbed some white vinegar. We just didn't have any last time I realized that when we were cooking. Some light string of cheese for myself and Arlo. I love these. These are like a guilty pleasure. I remember getting these all the time as a kid. Um, well, I think my mom was eating them and I would just steal them. They're the 100 calorie snack packs, the chocolate baked wafer snacks. They're basically like the Oreo thins. There's no cream in them, but they're just good if you just want like something sweet and small. Um, I'm a sucker for buttered popcorn. So I just got some quick buttered popcorn to make. Um, I like to just have it on random nights. Some sweet bell peppers for snacking on, but also for stir fry. Some more old fashioned oats. I like doing this with frozen mixed berries and peanut butter for breakfast. Um, so I don't love all these creamer selection, but I wanted to try this one. Um, the, the list of ingredients isn't that bad. It's not great, but it's not that bad. Why would you put baking soda in this? I have no idea. But it's the Silk Dairy Free Almond Cleaner creamer in the flavor creme brulee so i thought this would be nice for like warm coffees but i figured i would try that for another snacking option these roasted cashews sounded good salted organic roasted cashews i grabbed some celery hearts for my veggie prep for the week some green onions for stir fry the orange chicken um, and whatever else we need it on. If you just stick it in a little bit of water in the fridge, it will last a lot longer. Um, I got this twin pack of pork tenderloin. Figured we could have one of these for dinner this week and then I could go ahead and freeze the other one. Um, I grabbed a bunch of chicken thighs. We pretty much one of these packets every single time we eat them. So this will last us this week and then we'll be done with them. So chicken thighs, they're my favorite. Just chunk them up, super small, salt, pepper, oil, throw them in the air fryer, and then you can season them whatever way you want, like with sauces or anything like that. So good, that's what I do with my orange chicken. Ground chicken, I grabbed two packs of that. This I saw and I thought it intrigued me. I don't know, for like bulking up the multigrain pasta when I make that, this is hearts of palm linguine. Um, there's only 20 calories per this entire container. So I figured this could like bulk up and give me like the illusion of eating more food. Um, and then I thought this same kind of thing with rice. Um, these are just 90 second microwavable rice to cauliflower. It's literally just cauliflower and water in here. Um, so I figured this would be good to mix in with my rice to bulk them up. So these are the 
This is what I grabbed for that. Um, the salt and vinegar potato chips, like I said, we eat my tuna with. Some zucchini for stir fries and just a regular vegetable. Lemon to squeeze over broccoli, add to stir fries, just season stuff with. This tea sounded really good when I was on my way out. Pomegranate, blueberry, acai, green tea. So I grabbed that. Um, it's not super cold out, but when it is, I like something warm. It's like a nice midday pick-me-up. I think this has caffeine in it. I would imagine, because it's green tea. It doesn't say. It really doesn't say, but anyway, I think that'll be good. And then I grabbed the little mini potatoes as a quick side dish, maybe with the pork tenderloin sourdough bread my like absolute obsession i got this to do maybe sandwiches with um or just toast two things of eggs <laughs> they've gone down in price they're only like four dollars now so i grabbed two of those i did not know we had a pack in the fridge but i hard boiled those so i'm probably gonna hard boil one of those i like to let my or have my hard boiled legs be a little bit older i feel like they just peel easier so that's that i liked this last time this was their version of um what's it called Lacroix. but this is the grapefruit sparkling water and last but not least i've never seen them have like a full um like filet of salmon so this is atlantic salmon um and this is three pounds so i figured scott could kind of chunk it up because i will say like we just always have leftover salmon and I don't know, I think it's kind of a waste. So hopefully we will waste a little bit less if we cut it ourselves and portion it out and freeze it. So I'm gonna have him de-skin it and um, chunk it up so I can freeze it for, we'll probably have some for a stir fry this week and then the rest will go in the freezer. So that's everything I got, lots of stuff. I'm gonna prep out all the veggies, like I said, um, and freeze some of the meat, but that's everything I got. 250 bucks from Aldi. Aldi, if you've not shopped at Aldi, it is so, like the prices are awesome. Um, and I find that the produce is a little bit better than Trader Joe's in my opinion. So that's everything I got. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.